Alright, so welcome back to, uh, I guess, the second episode of the vlog. Uh, we've got a nice little studio set up here, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> Today, I, 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 uh, I, I did a few things, but one of those things was I put up a Facebook status. Uh, oh, there's a green screen, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I, I put a Facebook status up and asked people to ask me questions. And I guess what we're going to do is we're going to uh, answer those questions in the most serious way possible because this is not supposed to be entertaining. It's informative. Here we go. So first question here, uh, Kane Gibbons. If you could be any celebrity, who would it be and why? Uh, I'd probably be Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is a handsome man. And... And he can say Tommy Bishop, who happens to be a brother. Who would you have backed for the Piston Cup if it wasn't cancelled due to the corona coronavirus fears? <laughs> Ty Gainford, Uncle Ty. Glad to see you watching the show. <laughs> the show. I could call it a show now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna relax after this. Does Benny Bishop need any parts delivered for the car sitting in the shed? Ty, I'll ask him when he gets in here. I've got plans. Megan Parker, who would win in a fight between a grilled cheese sandwich and a taco? If you don't understand, roll film. Hi. I think the grilled cheese sandwich would win. Connor Heroini, the first person to ask a real question. What was the most unexpected change you had to adapt to when you moved overseas? Very good. Actually, I'd have to say in the United States, likely because of the large Hispanic population, pretty much everyone you encounter speaks a language other than English as well as English. Kind of makes me think that everybody in Australia is a little bit boring. So yeah, I would say the languages. Everybody speaks at least two languages in my experience. Today. For this one, I'm going to move over to the side. James Blackman asks, are you a Narang FC legend? If you just have a look uh, just here. I'm going to let you be the judge. Harry King asks, do you have the corona? <coughs> Caleb Stevens. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb Stevens. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your favorite color of the alphabet? <coughs> Brianna Payne. Shout out, Alex. Who's the best household member? Pets not included, so unfortunately that rules Jordan out. <coughs> Nova Hawk. <laughs> I love the name, by the way. Who can build the best house out of duct tape and cardboard? Honestly, this is making me think that I should probably do a video where we make things or we try and compete against each other, but we'll see how it goes, okay? Trev Scown, shout out Jackson. Um, just in regards to the economic decline we are facing as a nation due to the ongoing pandemic, to the best of your knowledge, what would you rate as your top three numbers? <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm definitely going to go with 20, 37, and 60. Riley Cook asks, what are your top three favourite Australian hardwoods? For number one, I'm going to have to say walnut veneer because it makes me feel like I'm playing Minecraft. For number two, I'm going to have to say dark oak veneer because it makes me feel like I'm playing Minecraft. And for number three, I'm going to have to say acacia wood veneer because... It makes me feel like I'm playing Minecraft. Eliza Bishop, my sister, asks me, are you and Arabella still dating? Sorry, are you actually dating? Uh, well, contrary to popular belief, Josh Hanari asks, what are your thoughts on James Seven? Uh, my thoughts on James Seven is I'd say the wisdom of the- Jackson Kath. <laughs> Does the funds from the college fund actually support your college fund? Or did I get scammed? <laughs> nah, 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 actually it did come in very, very handy uh, this last couple days. Yeah, you would not believe the stories that we have. I tried to summarize it yesterday's video, but even then it didn't really come across as much as as I needed it to. Okay, look, money was spent is all I'm gonna say, and definitely a lot of it came from the college fund. Melanie Marley, you're a doctor, aren't you? Yeah, you're a doctor. Congratulations, by the way. I know that you were on that path for a long time, so absolutely well done. If you could go to the shops, what's the one item you would panic buy? Well, Melanie, I would buy as much Twinnings Extra Strong English Breakfast Tea Bags 80 pack. As I could. As much as I could physically fit into my car. Kale Bullard asks, Is it true that you don't actually have a digestive system? <laughs> ben Dixon asks, One positive and one negative experience from travelling to the US. Besides family, friends, and totally different culture. I'm going to go with the same answer that I gave the other one. I definitely think language is one of the most fascinating things that is, has, has changed the way that I look at a lot of stuff. That is beneficial. I live with a bunch of Bolivians and also some of the Africans, they speak Spanish as well. So I learn from them. I do whatever I can to learn the language and then I have two means of communication and also it's just a lot of fun to cuss people out in another language. The negative is that my roommate's feet stank. Tommy Bishop asks, when can I expect a niece or nephew?
James Nuku asks, who is your favourite parent? Well, let's ask him. Uh, so, introducing for the very first time on this show ever, Benny Bishop. <laughs> Rumour has it that you think you are better than mum. What do you think about that? Ad- because James Nuku has suggested that you uh, we're not sure who's uh, who I think is better. Okay. Uh, 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 what at? Being a parent. More specifically, being like my parent. As in like giving birth? Yeah, no. Yeah, how do you think you would go when uh, evaluated at in your performance of as a parent? Doing... Being one. Do you think you're better than her? 100%. I will tell her that. Let's see what mum has to say about that. In my words, not his. Dad said you stink and you smell and that he's the better parent towards me. What do you have to say about that? I don't understand the question. Very well. Very clearly the answer has been described. Anyway, guys, this was today's installment of the Quarantine Blog Vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and remember to drink water.